Ah, Skyrim. A land of adventure, magic, danger and excitement. Home to beasts, bandits and the occasional dragon deity. However, it is also home to humble folk. Folk like Douglas Blackthorn. A man of modest means, he earns his living at the head of a wood axe, in hopes of one day building his very own woodmill. Ah oh yes, another day, another septum to be made. All I carry are the clothes on my back, and this axe in my hand, and with it, we will strike down many a tree, and earn ourselves a humble did amount of coin. No you did not, friend. Not. Before I jump into the video, if you like this character and want to see more, feel free to let me know in the comments below, and consider dropping a like and subscribing if you haven't already. Without further ado, I say we jump into this very, very humble character indeed. My friends, I welcome you to the story of Douglas Blackthorn. It is indeed a bit on the nose, if you know you know. He's a humble woodcutter, and he's set up here in Riverwood, of course, right now. This is a very humble town, perfect for a woodcutting character. And this is going to be a very simple video, and maybe mini-series. So there are a couple of small rules uh, for this video. We have to eat, drink, and sleep, so we have survival mods running. And woodcutting can be the only method that we earn coin from, so... No adventuring, no treasure hunting, uh, and all that good stuff. No, no selling other goods, no farming. Purely the woodcutter build, and my, my friend Douglas certainly has the build for it. He's blind in one eye from his lumberjacking days. He felled the tree and it, it split just wrong and it, it took his eye out. And then the goal for this is not only to earn money through woodcutting, but is to start a mill of our own, and we'll be seeing that much later. Just down the river from Riverwood, or just upstream from Riverwood, uh, is a dilapidated mill that we're gonna like, we're gonna rebuild and make it our own. Because you know, as as fun as it is cutting here in Riverwood, I, I can't do it for my, the rest of my life. I know I said I'm a humble man, but the coin might be just a bit too humble for me. <laughs> Right, well, I say we get our first woodcutting shift started here. There really is no limit on how long we can cut wood for. It's just as much as we can carry, and even when we're over encumbered. Hod normally is just up the mill there, so it won't be a short trip to sell him the wood. Uh, we are staying in the inn right now. We have no home. We are kind of an, uh, a wandering worker of sorts. Itinerant worker, perhaps, and uh, we're staying at the inn. And the inn charges quite a lot for a room. So we have to definitely make the coin, not only to feed ourselves, because we do need to eat, but also the bed and the roof over our head until we do indeed build our own home, which will be the goal for this, of course. I think it seems a fitting goal for a woodcutter to uh, build his own home. So I thought that would be like the good end game for this character. But for now, it's just it's just the labor. It's just laboring away, slicing wood. So yeah, since woodcutting is going to be the main focus of this video, I might at times kind of do a, a montage or, or at least speed up the woodcutting process. Well, a lot of time is going to be spent just here, <laughs> stationary cutting wood. Because right now I've just got to raise capital. I've got to raise the coin needed to start building uh, on the on the property, which I'll be showing you presently. So I'm not going to... Maybe a couple grand is what I need in wood, which is going to be a far cry. I think I've loaded into the game with like 100 mere septum, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to need to get... <laughs> A couple grand wood wood cutting. As I've said, it's humble in pay. It, it's going to take a while for us to get there. <laughs> Especially when we have to factor in the fact that we do need to eat, drink, and sleep. We're going to be paying for a lot of that as well. And there might be some instances where it's it's kind of like, you know, one step forward, two steps back in terms of earning money. Which is part of the challenge as well, I guess. So I've got realistic room rentals running. Which makes, uh, you know, rooms are no longer just ten septums. For every room it's like it can go up to a few hundred in some places i think riverwood is actually quite humble it's about 60 septums so that's still a lot more than uh than the vanilla game and there's a few pricing mods as well that makes goods change in prices depending on the rarity of the area so yeah our coin's not going to stretch as far as it does in vanilla Right, a good few hours have passed now. We've been cutting wood like an absolute madman, like no one's business. We should have a good few septums 
uh, after this. We are, in, of course, over encumbered. I just want to make sure I get to Hod before his shift closes and he goes home because I don't want to be walking around Riverwood looking for him while I'm over encumbered. So uh, hopefully we get a good amount of coin for this because, uh, well, we've been at it for a good few hours now. It's it's getting into evening. Uh, we started very, very early afternoon. So I'm hoping for at least a few hundred septums at the least, enough to cover room and board for tonight. So Here for work? I am indeed, friend. Bring me oh, all the wood you can chop. My friend, way ahead of you, Douglas. Got this way ahead here of you. In Riverwood, I eh? have firewood to sell, good sir. That's my only business. Honest gold. Indeed, honest friend. Work. Honest gold for honest work. 200 for 200. Oh, I was hoping for a little bit more than that. So it, it, it is a septum piece right now. That's rough. That's rough work. But, you know, Riverwood is... All it's a right. town with lumber aplenty, firewood aplenty. It doesn't really... It's not begging for that kind of work, so... You know, in this case, beggars can't be choosers. I'll take the con I can. This is why it's going to be such a challenge for us, because that was a good few hours of work. We got 200 septums. That's our wage for pretty much a day's work. So we could try again early in the morning and just work the whole day straight. So we wake up in the a.m. And then just until nightfall, we work. Um, but also, I do want to check out the location for the, the wood mill that I want to build myself so I can become my own boss. But that might have to wait for now. I have more coin to, to earn. Actually, a good idea would be to check my needs right now. I am currently peckish, slightly thirsty, not too... Okay, so I'm not I'm not too bad for needs right now. I could eat. I could eat a little bite, but nothing too crazy. So I'll stave off for now. Uh, although yeah, I will I need to get a water skin. No, you didn't, Maybe guy. Not. Listen, just carry the wood. Carry the firewood. Okay, do your job. Him if I were you. Listen, we're hardworking souls here. We have not got no, no time for town drama, okay? So we've got Fiendel here. He, he's also a woodcutter. We've got this guy here, who's a, mm. a pelt buyer, so the hunters. There's a poacher there. He's on the outskirts of town. There's a fisherman there. So there's all, all sorts of trade here in good old Riverwood. And, of course, lumber is most probably the biggest one. It probably props up the economy in a big way here. Right. Speaking of the economy, there's also the inn, another part of the local town. And we're going to go in there now and spend some of our hard-earned wages on uh, some food for ourselves. And... Possibly a water skin. Actually, if I pop into the trader, I could get a water skin from here if they're selling. Need something? No adventures. Oh, no adventures. Yet. No adventures indeed. No We're just a humble town. We're humble workers here. No adventures for us at all. Right, friend. I don't for sale. I'm hoping there's water skins. Odds and ends, not too expensive. Sort of thing. Is he's even got any? He hasn't even got any water skins. Damn. I think I'm gonna have to just buy water from the inn or drink from the stream Damn until I get myself a skin because they are quite hard to craft. You need a good few items to, to craft a water skin. Right, that's okay. We can drink from the stream. It's safe enough. We might get a little bit sick. Uh, but that's okay. If there's a shrine, we can just pray to the gods and get rid of it. Other than that, we can buy bottles of water, of boiled water from the inn. Oh, sorry, friend. I didn't mean to be up here. All right, let's go to the inn and, and get that water, shall we? Another thing we could do is make ourselves a tent. It'll work out. You know, the costs of the materials will work out better than paying for a whole room every night, which is 60 septums per night. Mm -hmm. That will very quickly drain our income. Like we'll, we'll, we'll just be working to pay pay for our bed at that point, which isn't quite worth it. So actually, you know what? I actually might make myself a tent because we can camp here on the riverbanks and then when I go out into the wilds to go towards my, my land that I want to work on, I can camp there as well and still have somewhere to sleep. That might be a good idea, actually. I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to make myself a tent so I can have somewhere to sleep for essentially free, other than the cost, of course, of them making the tent. And the good thing about Skyrim is uh, you're allowed to camp anywhere. No one's going to really have an issue with that unless you're camping like within city walls. Just a one-man little tent. That's all we need. The cheapest. It's a small fur tent. Two leather, six fur, or eight leather strips, and 12 leather. That's going to be quite pricey to buy the leather. But I think it'll be worth it in the long run. We could, we could see how much the leather is compared to the fur and, and judge it based on that, I think. Because it is getting late now as well. And, I need to stay until my sleeping, my energy. Wood cutting is hard work. Right, my friend. Whatever. Do you have leather Blades, slash helmets, fur? Pretty much anything to he has. Needs. To buy all that, I haven't even got the coin. I need 12 leather. So right now, I might just have to make myself a bedroll and have no tent. Just a bedroll. There's a traveler's bedroll, cow hides, firewood, eight leather strips. Oh, see, even the traveler's tent, it costs so much. It's, it's the 12 lever, that's the issue. I could I could possibly hunt for an animal, but that, even that will take a while. There's the water skin. That needs leather as well. Uh, leather's so pricey. 
Right, so my best option for crafting a tent might be the Traveler's Tent, because that's six leather, eight leather strips, and four firewood. I could also see how much a tent costs in the trader again, just to see if he's even selling them. Oh, sorry, friend. Oh, my my friend, I'm so sorry. You came flying out the door there. I, I bumped into you. What have you got for that, actually? He might have some stuff that I want. Oh, he's got some hides. Has he got any cow hides? Yeah, nothing I, nothing I really want, good sir. That's okay. All right, then. Oh, the stance. What are you doing, friend? You're, lo you're looking down on me. My word. That is a stance. That's a powerful stance on your desk there. The river right. Right. trader is what you got for sale, good sir? Some may call this junk. Lucan is ensuring he's never going to be robbed again with his power stance. Ah, small tent. So that's 100. Honestly, that might that's going to be cheaper than just buying the, the raw materials. The small leather tent, I think. We should probably just do that. Get ourselves a cooking pot as well so we can cook ourselves some good meats. Okay. Do you know what? I might just do that. I'll get the roll of paper as well so we can actually make the water skin. And the lockpick, because we need the, the lockpick for the water skin as well. So lockpick, roll of paper. Okay. Let's uh, let's buy the tent. This is a lot of our wages so far. And the cooking pot. So we, we have uh, 162 septums. We need to cut some wood in the morning, desperately, Damn to get thieves. some more money. But if things weren't bad enough. at least we won't have to... Uh, Sleep at the inn for 60 gold a night. That's good. That's awesome. I mean, we could even possibly get a bit more wood cutting in. Oh, but is Hod even still on shift? Hod's still on shift. He might be packing up at any second, though. I don't want to be getting caught. Right, let's uh, let's cut as much wood here as we can quickly. And then we'll sell it to Hod as soon as we see him walking away. Right, we are getting hungry and thirsty now. So, come morning, I think we're going to have to drink from the stream at least once before we make our water skin. But we've got the cooking pot as well, so once we do fill up our water skins, we can boil the water. Right, I'm a bit worried here. I'm not hearing the uh, the mill. Is he... Is he going away? Oh, there he is. Yeah, he's, he's going home now, so let's quickly sell to him. Here for work? Firewood, good sir. Honest gold. Not going to be as much at all. 24 seconds. Man, that's so, so, such, such a meagre amount. But this is this is the challenge we've set ourselves here. Right, I think I'm going to set up camp across the river a ways, just outside the town area a bit. And this is actually a good spot right here, right around this tree. But I think actually over there. Oh, here's a good clearing over there. So let's uh, let's jump across. Let's not get too wet because I'm not going to be making a fire tonight. So I'm going to get cold if I get soaking wet. So let's um, jump across here. Huh? Across here. Here, here, and there we are. Nice. There's a good clearing here. Oh, there's some mushrooms as well. Edible mushrooms. We could put those into a nice pot of stew at some point. Oh, I can't wait to start cooking for ourselves once we get a fire going. Right. Yeah, I think under this stream here, this might, might even be drinkable water as well. It's flowing crisp from the glaciers above. It should be very uh, potable. I would imagine, anyway. Right, here's the clearing. Oh, there's a dead mud crab. Someone just killed a mud crab. Poor little guy. I suppose we could dine on mud crab flesh. Right, I'm glad the Riverwood Trader was selling the tent for a decent price. Because now, we can cosily set up. There's going to be a bit, of, a few weeds in there with us, but that's okay. See, is it even flatter up here? Oh, there, I found a good spot there. There were no weeds. Nice and cosy. There we are. Home sweet home. For, uh, for now, at least. There we are. Oh, we've got our little pet weed to keep us cozy at night. Just a humble bedroll, a lantern, and then the leather tent itself. Look at that. That's a, that's a, oh, that's a, look at that. That's picturesque. I didn't sell on my firewood. I could make ourselves a fire. Do you know what? I think tonight definitely calls for a fire, right? Surely. Maybe I should go cut some firewood quickly. Just a, just a couple pieces to make a fire for tonight. It is going to get cold. Here we are. Another wood cut, cutting block right here. There's plenty of them. Lovely, lovely. We should pro possibly start making backpacks and pouches as well to carry even more firewood with the ability to still be able to sprint and run. That'd be awesome. Look at this. What an evening. I'm going to set myself down here for the evening. This is pleasant indeed. Let's let's lay down a campfire in this little clearing here. Close enough for our tent to be warm. Oh, my guy's stomach is rumbling. I am getting hungry. I've been working all day. I'm starving. 
I've got no food on me though. I've only got what have I got? I've got some clam chowder. That should be decent. That's a medium meal. That's gonna be breakfast, I think. Sweet roll. I think that's that's gonna be my breakfast. I'm gonna eat in the morning because uh, I wasn't gonna have no food. Actually, I could eat in the evening and then go to the inn for breakfast, I suppose, and spend even more coin. But first, though, let's get fire. Right, let's use this. Let's strike stone it. There we are. Brilliant. Some nice logs. You know what? I might have to dive into that crab. It's a free crab right there. But let's get a roaring campfire going. That will last all night. Look at that. Oh, what, a, what, a, what an evening under the stars. This is what zero light pollution does to you, my friends. Everyone needs to experience like a low light pollution night sky at least once in their life. It's truly beautiful. I mean, you're not going to see the giga moon like that, but... <laughs> It'll be plenty beautiful enough. Right. Oh, this is so picturesque. This is what I love about Skyrim, man. This is how I play Skyrim. The fire lazy feeling is... I'm definitely inspired. Right. Let's uh, carve up this crab then, shall we? Let's clean it first. And then hopefully it'll give us enough crab meat to make something tasty for the evening. Now, butcher meat. I don't think I'm going to worry about getting its uh, chitin and its other ingredients right now. I just really need its meat. They are crab legs and raw meat. Let's dispose of that. Okay, some crab legs for supper uh, by a mountain stream. This is pretty freaking cozy. I don't know about you guys, but let's place our cooking pot. Well, I say this is good living. There is no fire hot enough to cook with. What? I swear that... Use? There we are. Okay. It just needs to warm up for a bit. Boiled mud crab. I mean, beggars can't be choosers, but... Oh, I can make fire accelerant. That's pretty cool. Do you know what? I might actually have to fell myself an elk so I can get venison enough to uh, to feed myself for a while. Let's just make the board mud crab, I guess. Alright, I'm just so worried about drinking from this water. I don't want to get sick, but I have to. Do you know what? We'll do, we'll do that in the morning. That'll be a morning issue for us. Let's just sleep for now. Do you know what? I might do like a 10, 10 hour sleep. We're going to need it for a whole day of wood cutting tomorrow. Or I could get an earlier start and show you guys the, the mill that I'm going to start working on. Right, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. start. We're very hungry. We're very thirsty. At least we've slept. Our fire is still going. That's awesome. So I'm going to leave this here for now because I think I want to camp here again tonight. So there's no reason for me to pack it up. The okay, cooking pot can stay there as well. If I find any small game out in the wilds, I will uh, hunt it. I haven't got a bow. I'm not going to waste money on a bow right now. Um, but I'm going to head towards the mill that I'm going to start building and then any game I find I will capture indeed. I'm going to put this out for now. Uh, two hours remaining? I will just leave it. It's only got two hours remaining. That will net me back only like a one log or something. Now I'm feeling inspired. Let's eat some food. Let's get this clam chowder down us. That's a medium meal. Still hungry. I can eat a whole sack of flour. That's a, a raw sack of flour for a medium meal. Will that make me sick? I guess I could mix it with water and eat like a, a flour paste. That's just dire straits though. Raw how do I cook these legs? Because it's raw food, it might make me sick. Raw crab's okay though. Let's eat five apples as well. Five apples and a clam chowder. No longer thirsty. At least we're no longer thirsty and haven't had to have drunk uh raw the water. Just just eat five apples for your daily water needs. <laughs> no reason to get sick from river water. Right, I want to be quick about this because I've got a whole day of work that I don't want to lose to uh, running about in the woods. Oh, there is an elk there. I could try freaking knocking it down with my axe. Carving up this meat for myself. Let's do it. Yes, come on. Yes. Okay, this is going to be food for us. This is this is woodsman. That was such a woodsman moment, my word. I might even take its hide as well. Its leather could come in handy. All right, this food will sustain us for a few days at the very least. I'm glad that I've got I've got meat on the menu. Meat's back on the menu, boys. And there's some wolves there. And they're hunting a, a poor rabbit. Oh no, he's gonna he's dead. He's dead. That's free pickings, and that rabbit's free pickings. Oh, he's guarding it. I don't want to tussle with the wolves. No, thank you. That's a rock joint waiting to happen. Oh, speaking of which, there's more wolves here. Let's skirt around them. I mean, my axe is a pretty effective wolf killer, should I need to, so I'm not too worried. If I can avoid tussling, I will. So it's really actually not that much of a walk away from Riverwood to the new what's going to be the new mill. And here it is. So 
it's really not that far away. It's just a short trip through the woods, so we can return here. Once we once we have set up a base camp here, we can return to Riverwood for our daily work and then come back here to work on this. Night and day, night and day. And there's a carpentry table here, so this is going to require a lot of carpentry. I could actually get this started now or do another shift of wood cutting. That, hmm. Because this, this is the big goal. Like, this has been left abandoned. I think it's up to us to, to bring this to its former glory. But it's going to be a lot of work. This is why I'm thinking it's going to be a, a small series as opposed to just a one-off video. But look at this. If we can get this up and running, what a pleasant place. Right, right on the lake. Our own mill as well. Look, this is already in good order. Like, we haven't even got to... Millwater Mill. There we are. That's a, what, what a name. <laughs> Millwater Mill. A more generic name than even Riverwood. <laughs> uh, but here we are. There's like a bunch of different tables here. And notes on trade. So we can set, set up trade and stuff. This is going to be a big one, boys. Unless there's a wild mages out there summoning familiars and spirits. Let's light that as well. Look at that. Very nice. There's a little boat here as well. Some fishing. Yeah, this is the dream. We've got to keep the stream alive. Let's see if we can get at least one building up and running before ending this episode. I think that would be for the best. Oh, like fireplace. There we Oh, there we are. Eight hours. Okay. We've got a fire going in here. Oh, can we sleep on this? We can. Oh. <gasps> Millwater Retreat. There's a hidden... I didn't even know that. I just hit... Okay. Wow. Okay. I... I... This is cool. Let's, uh, let's pay this a visit quickly. Oh, it's very dark in here indeed. Let's light this lantern. Millwater Retreat Deed. We've got the, we've got the official deed. As recognised by the hold of Falkreath and its governing body, this deed hereby declares that the Millwater Retreat and its surrounding land is the explicit property of the following citizen. I have to keep this in my pocket now. We've just got the deed for free, boys. Sign deed, yes. My word. Common okay, so we've just we've just now come into the possession of a mill for free. Oh, my word. I didn't even see him there. <gasps> Doron, my friend. <gasps> no. I'm not, oh, not, oh, he's got a hammer. That might come in handy, though. I might need to take that hammer. Control need to dispose of the corpse. Oh, this is, this is horrible. I've just inherited this broken down mill of my grandfather's, and I have neither the carpenter's skill or the will to restore it. Should I decide to take this project on, however, I'll need to get the deed I left in the basement signed to make it official before I can start any construction work. Oh, oh no, he's getting exhausted. This is a lot of work for one man. We need the help of the carpenters, and I guess we can need the help of the carpenters as well. My coin purse is almost empty. Well, my friend, mine is already empty. This is why it's going to be such a big product for us. We, we technically have the land, but we are penniless. He was fighting for pure... He, he died of exhaustion. Trying to get that deed signed. He didn't get the deed signed. He's fighting for you through pure exhaustion. I'm so sorry, brother. You died of exhaustion. I will see this place rebuilt. I will. We've got a bed at the very least. That's nice. We have a bed to sleep in. Okay, brilliant. Let's go clean up the body. Bury it. <gasps> We've buried his body. There it is. Oh... Okay, I feel, I feel better now. We've, we've buried him. Okay. That was an honourable thing to do. My friend, I'm sorry that you failed this way. That you were left with nothing. You were penniless and died of exhaustion. But I promise I will bring this mill to its former glory. And I shall christen it in your name. Okay, well, coin is what we're going to need anyway. So let's just go back to Riverwood and do another shift. Because I'm hungry and I'm slightly thirsty. Okay. Yeah, we haven't even got the coin to start this project yet. It's so far off, so that'll be for another episode, I think. Oh, hello there, a future neighbour. Well met. Oh, a humble property indeed. Let's go back to River. We've wasted a lot of the day here checking out that place, but it was too alluring to say no to. But that's that's the future of this series, my friend. That's what's going to be in our future. That's the task, the overarching goal. And then we were already back at Riverwood. That was really a stone's throw away. So we are going to be big competition for Riverwood. <laughs> Hod is not going to be our friend anymore. He's not going to like us anymore. Let's just keep this to ourselves for now. Hod, Hod cannot know what we're up to here. Let's do one more shift to get as much coin as we can here.
So to those who have made it this far, uh, thanks. If you do want to see more of this character, of this series, let me know in the comments below. If you haven't yet, consider subscribing. There is a lot more work to be done as this woodcutter character, Douglas, Douglas Blackthorn. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching this far. I do like these kind of slower paced, kind of humble life roleplay videos. A woodcutter makes sense. It's one of the big mechanics in Skyrim. And uh, I have yet to have actually done a woodcutting character. Like a purely focused woodcutter. I think I've made a good one here. I'm liking Douglas. He's got the build for the woodcutter. He's got the, the giant shoulders, the strong arms. And uh, he, he's a menace. He's a menace to logs and lumber everywhere. Right, we've been cutting wood here for a while anyway. So I'm going to see how much we can turn in. I think it's still going to be less than like 200 though. That's the thing. You have to, like, it takes you hours to make even a couple hundred septums. But hey, this, this is the challenge I've posed to myself, so... Hey, no, no complaining here. Wait, is that another woodcutter there? <gasps> I think that's a... Is that my competition? Oh, my guy's stomach is rumbling. We need to get some food down us. Oh, we should cook that, um... That elk we hunted, actually. The venison. Of course. Yeah, let's, stop. let's just get this to hard quickly, because I need to eat some food. Get that venison nice and cooked up. Hey there, Fiendel. Did I see you talking to Sven? No, you didn't. Again, my friend, I, I cannot... Maybe. Never mind. Listen, but I, would stay I can't keep convincing you, bro. It's not my job to convince you that I'm not after your girl. Oh, hard, please, brother. I need to speak to a reasonable person. You're an honest man. I'm sorry that I, I'm going to soon be your competition. Honest gold or honest work. Uh, just slightly under 200. Good yeah, day. hard. I can't let him know right th right now what I'm doing. <laughs> I've got to keep my cards close to my chest because I'm right now I'm I'm cash poor, and so if he knows about my plans, he might try and thwart me in some way. <laughs> right, let's get uh, let's get these this cooked. Oh wait, no, we need to um, get this to go in, don't we? Do I have the firewood? I think I've just sold it. What haven't I? Yeah. Right, that's okay. We can cut a few pieces. No problem. Hey, this is this is the wood cutting guy. If I'm, to, if I'm to cut wood, I will do it proudly and happily. Do you know what? Also, I think I'm going to keep the uh, the outfit I've got now. This green kind of plain outfit. I don't know if it's really a woodcutter outfit, but I like the way it looks. So, oh, I actually just realised as well, from where we're making our new mill, across the across the lake is the Half Moon Mill. So we're we're like between Riverwood and the Half Moon Mill. Is, is the economy in need of lumber that much of Skyrim that there's going to be three mills so close to each other? Are we going to actually be able to make money from this mill? I hope so. Because what I'm seeing right now is Riverwood is producing a lot of lumber. And they seem to be, uh, you know, the supply seems to be coming out pretty without issue. And they seem to be, make, well, I guess Hod's probably making decent. I mean, look at all this chopped lumber and he's... He's cutting more every day. I'm cutting wood from him. He's got his wife cutting wood. There's another woodcutter in town. Fendel's also cutting wood. Like, this is a lumber town. And uh, I just hope there's market enough for me to kind of creep in myself and get my own customer base and earn my own money. We shall see though, my friends. That's only time will tell. Right now, we're so far away from even that. So, yeah. Right, let's get this fire lit, shall we? I'll just do a small fire. I don't need to uh, get a Roman guy right now. Just enough to cook my venison into delicious meals. That's a wandering knight. Oh, there's two wandering knights on their horses. Look at that. All right, elk steak. That's stamina crab. I want the venison chop. Filling meal. Let's do that. Because I got the salt, didn't I, from... Uh... Oh, no, I don't even need to use the salt. Okay. Venison chop it is. Let's get that sweet roll down, shall we? Still hungry. One venison chop. There we are, full. A sweet roll of venison That's a good meal right there. Something sweet and savoury. Right, actually, that's reminding me. Do you know what I might have to do? I might have to spend all my current wages on that initial uh, iron ore investment to get my... Or the iron ingot investment to get my smelter up and running. Okay. Unless I can smelt it somewhere else. There isn't, there isn't a smelter in town. That's the only issue. And to, to build the smelter at my place, I need... I need the iron. It's, it's going to cost all my wages. That's the thing. Three. I've got less than 400. For eight ingots, it's going to be way more than that. I'm not, I'm not robbing. I'm not going to rob. I'm an honest man, so... Let's see Whatever what he's going to charge us. Take a look. Right, for eight. Oh, we can afford it. We can afford it. We're going we're gonna to have to do it. Let's do it. We've got 150 gold to our name. That's still enough to keep us going. Oh, 240 coin gone. I see you talking to oh. 
Yeah, we're still going to be under uh, uh, Hod's employment for sure. I'm going to be working for him for many more moons still. <laughs> but I've got that now. Do you know what? I might actually go make that smelter now. Before I do anything else. Before I continue. Do you know what? I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to jump back and uh, see about getting that smelter built. Let's do it. Once this mill is up and running and start producing, that's where we're going to earn our true money as a woodcutter. Is, is through actually selling large lumber as opposed to just individual firewoods to like innkeepers and, and of course hod so uh, I look forward to when we actually sell, we're selling whole trees essentially <laughs> right let's get the smelter we just need quarried stone okay that's fine there will be a, there will be a quarry around here somewhere I know it I take it there's also gonna be a pick nearby they would never leave us pickless oh my what was this oh <gasps> shield of the fox ah I just got hurt by a dead man's ribcage. Shield of the Fox. Okay. That's like a special item. Wow. There's got to be a pickaxe around here somewhere. Slash like a quarried stone deposit. I might even have to just make myself a pickaxe. Pickaxe. Uh, oh, I've got everything. I just need two leather strips. Oh, so that will use up my iron though as well. There's got to be... Oh, wait, hang on over there. Oh, right here this whole time. It has been next week. I was looking high and low for this. Yes, okay, here it is. I knew there had to be one so close by. I was going all the way around here. Like, night has nearly fallen now. I was looking for this deposit for so long. But there we are. We've got a quarried stone. And it is right near the iron as well, of course. I was right here. All I had to do was do that. I'm, I'm, I'm an actual fool. Mother gods, okay. That is the funny thing about searching for things. It's always right in front of you. Right, that was the last thing we needed for the, the smelter. And then, I guess we can move on. I still need to make the barracks for the carpenters as well. This is going to be a big, big project. This will be something similar to um, Normal Life, I think, actually. It'll be very similar. Only Normal Life was more overarching with hunting and things, but this is purely just woodcutter. Woodcutter. Okay, let's, uh... Well, I just thought I saw a body there. That was the cross. Right, let's get our pickaxe in. Let's get ourselves a few chunks of stone. Come back to our newly discovered quarry deposit. Oh, okay. That's a lot of stone already. I think that's all we need already. Just That's 11 straight up in a couple strikes. Okay, brilliant. Let's get the smelter. So now we can actually turn that iron into ingots, which we're going to need. Four hours? Yeah, let's do it. We're going to be hungry after this. And night has indeed fallen. Luckily, we have got a bed here, so we can sleep. Office structure. House structure. Let's do that first. Let's do that. Six hours, my word. Okay. This is going to be rough for us. We're very thirsty. All right, we can't really do any more right now. So that house, the structure of the house has been built, so we should hope for, oh, so we should be able to get the, once this is furnished, get the uh, dudes in, it's like that, get the carpenters in. I think building this house structure is a good place to end this first episode. As I said before, my friends, if you made it this far, feel free to let me know if you want to see more of this character in the comments below. If you like what you see, feel free to leave a like. If you want to see more, consider subscribing. As always, your viewership is appreciated, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye for now.